This video is a tutorial of the RightsLogic Extranet tool, where NBC Universal licensees can upload royalty statements, submit forecasts, and view the status of their account. This video will focus on how to log in, request access, and use the administrative functionality. If you'd like more detailed information on these processes, please refer to the RightsLogic Extranet how-to guide provided to you by NBC Universal. If you would like more information on royalty statement or forecast submission, please refer to those respective YouTube videos or the RightsLogic Extranet how-to guide. To start, navigate to the web address provided to you by NBC Universal. To log into the system, you will need a valid username and password. Requesting access. If you haven't yet been assigned a username, you will not have access to the system. To get access, click the Request for Access link on the login screen. An access request window should pop up. This window is where you can fill out information about your role. All fields in bold are required fields. For more details on how to fill out each field on this screen, please refer to the how-to guide. Once the information is complete, click on Send Request. You should then see a pop-up informing you that your request has been sent. You will be notified via email when your access request is granted. Logging in. Once you have an account with RightsLogic and you know your login information, enter your RightsLogic username in the username field, which should be your email address. In the field below, enter your password. Once you've entered these fields, select the circular RightsLogic icon to log in. Changing your password. After you've logged into the extranet, you can change your password by clicking on the Change Password link in the upper right-hand corner of any page. In the pop-up, enter your current password in the first line, Current Password. If you have just had a temporary password assigned to you by RightsLogic, enter that password in the current password space. In the lines New Password and Confirm New Password, enter your new password. Once you've entered the new password, click Change Password. If your new password is accepted, this pop-up message will appear, informing you that your password has been successfully changed. Select OK. You will be redirected to the login page where you will enter your username and new password to log in. Dashboard. Once you have successfully logged in, you will be in the RightsLogic Extranet dashboard. The dashboard displays read-only information about missing royalty statements, missing forecast statements, and unpaid invoices. You can filter the information displayed in the dashboard by account manager, contracting entity, or contract number. For example, if you only wanted to see information related to contract 100023, you will enter 100023 into the contract number field and select search. The dashboard now only displays information related to this contract. The Missing Royalty Statement section will only list royalty statements that are past due and yet to be approved by NBC Universal, not royalty statements that will be due soon. Please note the Missing Forecast Statements section lists upcoming and past due forecast statements. Even if you have submitted a forecast for the quarter, it will show up on this list until the forecast submission has been approved. The Unpaid Invoices section shows all invoices that have not yet been paid in full. My Contact Details The My Contact Details tab allows for the entry and edit of licensee contact and address information. There are three primary sections on the My Contact Details tab. Primary Address, Contacts, and Related Addresses. All new entries, edits, and deletions in this field will need to be approved by the licensor before being processed. The primary address section, located on the left-hand side of the screen, is used to display the primary address of the licensee company. To edit or add information about the licensee's primary address, enter the information in the fields displayed. Boldfaced fields are mandatory. Once the information is entered, select the Save button. 
A pop-up will appear, which informs the user that the change request has been sent to the licensor. The licensor needs to approve changes to the primary address before they become visible in the extranet. The Contacts section, located in the upper middle section of the screen, is where you can enter, edit, and view contact information for individual licensee contacts. The Related Addresses section, located below, is where you can enter, edit, and view additional licensee address information. For example, if the licensee would like to add a billing address, which is separate from the primary address, it can be done in the Related Addresses section. To add a new contact or related address, click the Add New header in the desired section. In the pop-up, complete the necessary information. All bold-faced fields are mandatory. When completed, select the Add button. A pop-up should appear, confirming that your request has been successfully submitted. Click OK and you will see that the new row is now at the bottom of the section and the submission status is processing. To edit information about existing contacts or addresses, click on the pencil icon to the left of the row in the desired table. You will see a pop-up where you can edit the current information. Once the edits are made, click Update to send the update request to the licensor. A pop-up will appear confirming that your request has been submitted. Click OK. The row will then go to the bottom of the list, and under Submission Status, it will say Processing, which means that the licensor has not yet approved the change. To request that a row be deleted, click on the X icon to the right of the row. A confirmation screen will appear, confirming that your deletion request has been submitted. The row will then go to the bottom of the list, and under Submission Status, it will say Processing. Utilities The Utilities tab is where NBC Universal will post important documents for you to download, such as file templates and lists of acceptable field values, like product lists. In the table shown, the document name, document type, document description, and document creation date will be displayed. Download the desired document by clicking on the download icon in the document row. Make sure your pop-up blocker is turned off. Submissions. The Submissions tab is a read-only tab that contains a history of all royalty statement, forecast, and contact detail submissions. At the top of the screen, you can filter by submission type, status, and date range. To view submissions, select a searchable criterion and click Search to populate the screen. For example, you can select party submissions in the processing status from July 4, 2016 on. You can now see all submissions made, the date of the submission, the submission status, what action the user has submitted, such as an update or deletion, and the user who made the request. This concludes the training video on the RightsLogic Extranet administration functionality. For information on submitting royalty statements and forecasts, please view the other videos in this series. As always, you can refer to your how-to guide for more detailed information on the RightsLogic Extranet functionality.